July 20th is a very special day. 50 years ago this day, man landed on the moon. And even half a century later, that event continues to inspire not just engineers, but all of mankind. To mark the 50th anniversary of the first lunar landing, in this video, we will cover some of the technologies used today that were a direct spin-off from the Apollo program. On this channel, Synergy Files, we aim to inspire engineers and technologists for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe today to get the updates of our latest videos. One of the most popular and memorable quotes in all of human history was made when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon and uttered the words, It's one small step for man, giant leap for mankind. The day was 20th July 1969. The Apollo program had a profound impact on all of us. It inspired a whole generation of engineers. It propelled us forward and the world we live in today is in a sense shaped by it. 50 years on, we are all directly or indirectly connected to the legacy of Apollo program through the technology we use today. In fact, the work done on Apollo missions changed the way we do engineering. Here are some of the engineering practices that emerged out of it. The first is safety engineering. In February 21, 1967, while the space race was in full swing, a disaster struck the Apollo program when three astronauts of Apollo 1 perished in a fire inside the command module during the pre-flight test. After a thorough investigation, it was found that because the project was rushed, there weren't even paper records of what had been installed inside the spacecraft. That single event was momentous in bringing a culture of safety to design engineering. Today, most products are over-designed beyond their specifications and they are thoroughly checked and tested before release. The common engineering practice has become to err on the side of caution. And a thorough documentation at every step of the design has become necessary. The second change that Apollo program brought forward was in control systems engineering. Using the computer in the command module was the first time ever in human history that navigational control was given to a machine. Computers at the time were not as powerful as we have today and required a lot of space and power to run but they were needed to precisely maneuver the spacecraft that had 16 thrusters and one main engine. Thus, the fly-by-wire technology was born. Unless the astronauts chose a manual option, the fly-by-wire system took their input and regulated it to give a response at the engine and thrusters. Completely autopiloting a vehicle was also something that came out from the Apollo research. This spacecraft technology was later adopted by the aircrafts. The F-8 became the first aircraft to use the same computer as used in Apollo 15. Today, fly-by-wire technology has heavily permeated into the civil and military aviation industry, and we are also witnessing the emergence of self-driving cars, all credit to the Apollo program. The third engineering practice rolled out by Apollo was digital simulation and modeling. The engineering done today is steeped in simulation and modeling. This culture was again born out of NASA where the only way to venture into the unknown was to simulate virtual reality. The mathematics and the physics underlying the spacecraft were water tested. Astronauts were trained to deal with several what-if scenarios inside the flight simulators at NASA. Today's engineering is unimaginable without modeling and simulation. In fact, the reason why we are able to design products much faster and much safer is because of this technique. For example, a completely new car model can now be designed from concept to reality within 18 months. Now, let's look at some of the tech equipment that came out of the Apollo program. Fuel cells, as we know, are dubbed an important component for electrification. Their development made rapid progress under the Apollo program. It should be noted that oxygen was already being carried to help burn the rocket fuel, so the addition of hydrogen gas in tanks not only provided the inputs for the fuel cell but also gave a highly desirable byproduct that is water. This was necessary for astronauts' life support. 
Similarly, computer used by the Apollo program for the first time incorporated the use of integrated circuits. This was done to save weight, space, and power consumption. We all know that earlier generation of computers used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory. The arrival of transistor heralded the second generation while it was in the Apollo program where the third generation of computers was developed. According to Scott Hubbard who worked at NASA and then worked as a professor at Stanford University, there was a major shift in electronics and computing and at least half the credit goes to Apollo. Without it, you wouldn't have a laptop, you would still have things like the UNIVAC. The earlier mentioned tragedy of 1967 also led to the development of Duret fabric which does not burn. This fabric is used by firefighters today. Cordless power tools that use battery, clocks and watches that use crystal, silver iron water treatment for killing bacteria, dialysis machines for kidneys, programmable pacemakers, insulation layer made up of aluminium foil used in houses. These are all products that came out directly from the Apollo program. The list of indirect products is endless. Thus, landing on the moon was one thing, but what we achieved collectively in progressing towards that goal is also truly remarkable. To land on the moon, we made the biggest rocket, the biggest single-story building to make that rocket, and the biggest land-based transportation machine to carry that rocket. The photographs taken by the astronauts became the most widely published in our history. From the blue marble to the earth rise, these pictures changed the way we saw our world. As a consequence, the modern environmental movement was born. Let's celebrate this achievement for generations to come. Revisiting the event takes us to the time when the whole world took a pause and forgot about the conflicts to marvel mankind's pioneering spirit. And with this the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, please do hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for your kind attention.